Okay, so uh, sister, what happened today? Well, I'm on, on a Canada Day holiday I'll bring day and all. Can you say it again and yell louder? On Canada Day, on a holiday, they came in and did the inspection early anyways. Um, and we passed for now. They revoked um, the impending one in court, as I understand it. And as long as we get that, um, I don't even know if we have to get that 20 people signed up to the housing list or not, but they did stipulate that. But I think that they were planning to do that anyways. And I think we maybe would have passed anyways, but they would have removed stuff instead. So this way, um, people are going voluntarily so far. And um, yeah, so it's a victory, but we still have to stay on the work. You know, so less okay. is more kind of stuff. And uh, they are really um, trying to push for limiting uh, new arrivals and such. But um, again, if people have, play, uh, play, they have no place to go, what exactly do you expect? In lieu of making effective changes to the social services ministry and other ones, and to making livable income a reality like yesterday. So. Anyway, okay, yeah. sister, you yeah, yeah. rock. Thank you. So I just need to ask this because I'm hothead and. And we've been hanging out for a while. So, is there still your vision? Uh, go to court in September, and in the meantime, you're move, you're trying to move forward with meeting with liberals in order to have your your microhouse village that you would like, your your housing situation that you have. You are actually making plans for. You are writing policies for. You have formed your society. I mean, I'm so proud of you, folks. And this is not getting out. And it's like I, I believe that you're still moving forward with that idea. Is that right? Yep, yep, we're not being hindered by order after order after order, you know. And is it true from what I hear, and I'm supporting this as well, no soft management, no soft, no soft incarceration models? I'm sorry, but it's just more work for us to clean up yeah. after them, really, is what it ends up being. Yeah. And you know, we really desperately need, need those resources. We don't need to pay somebody's hotel, ferry, car rental, etc. to make us porridge, ultimately. So, you, know, so you would, I mean, it sounds like someone suggested in your group can you maybe talk about how you had this idea that if you could have your own society, which you actually have, and you could get the funding you need or put your own money into it through welfare checks for shelter, that you wanted to run we your own... We prefer to own our own building. Well, and then you, you talked about you have local outreach services that already support you yeah. so that you would actually hire people to help feed you if you need it. Is that right? Oh, of course. Yeah, we do. We, uh, we have the same access and the same capabilities as anybody else we're just uh well you know resource hindered obviously yeah. and by the daily like sheltering and uh you know working with no resources that is the biggest i guess issue at hand really it really is you know and it comes down to you not sharing properly why does the richest place on earth have the lowest minimum wage yeah. who and where is all that going to I'm not really sure, and I don't really care as much as it just gets dispersed more fairly. Yeah. From everyone from old age um, pension, the vet people that are veteran age, um, to you know um, families that are single parent or not, just getting more of their money back. Yeah. You know, it's not. It should never have gotten this way in the first place. It's about time we made it right, right? Yeah. So we need the power to go back to the hands of the people, and that means money in this capitalist society. So absolutely, yeah. You know, at all levels. Yeah. And basically, maybe people at, at the higher levels shouldn't be paid as much. And they and, should not have these kinds of budgets for you know because so, all it does is breed corruption. I guess. Yeah. Happy Canada Day.